The pigs can already smell what's down there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that out. You better shut that door. <laughs> See the white trail of hail stuck in where the chicken tractor ran. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't plant the garden yet. All the plants would be getting plummeted by that hail. But what about the other plants that are outside already? The ones in the greenhouse? No, the ones that are outside in the other bed. There's not many. It's just a little bit of broccoli and Brussels sprouts. And they're gonna be fine? They'll be fine. If not, it's not a huge loss. It's not the whole garden. And then there was hail. And look, just like that, it's over. And it's not hailing anymore. I'm mm -hmm. happy now. You're happy now? Uh-huh. Okay. Because I didn't like it. You didn't like it? Uh -uh. No. We'll tie all this. She came up with a pet. I don't think anybody bought her. figure out what we're gonna use for seeds in the garden. You look through these, I'll be right back. I think we got some seeds in the basement. We have more in the basement. I think we picked some up from more mowing company. How about yep. corn? I had corn in the basement. Then we had some seeds we saved, they're either on the shelf. Oh, purple cabbage. Purple basil, basil, holy basil. Holy what do I do with it? I don't know. Maybe we'll try growing it. Chives, oregano, lemon balm. Ooh, we should get some of that going. That's a good corn. That's a good corn. Purple. Purple what? Broccoli. Oh. The big things we look forward to when cooking up a pasture raised chicken is making some homemade chicken broth. Good? Good, thank you. One way to know if you've gotten all the nutrients and all everything out of the bones is try cracking it. If they fall apart, you know you've gotten a lot of the good stuff. The buttercup squash. No, buttercup squash is not germinated yet, but that's only been a day over here so far. Look at the zucchini, guys. Can you see that? For them to go under the grow light. And this one right here, Olivia was all excited about spaghetti squash. They haven't all germinated yet, but some of them have, and they need to get under the grow light too. I think next year we're gonna have to get two grow lights, guys. Hopefully the weather gets decent this weekend and we can put these guys in our outdoor greenhouse. That would be really nice. Hmm. The germination rate on the spaghetti squash. And I guess I can't complain, we didn't pay anything for these seeds. These came out of the plant. That we paid $10 for at the store. So I guess we did pay for them. That's nuts. Jamming guys, look at these summer squashes. Those are nice and green. 
And then we got over here our cucumbers. They're looking pretty nice. Have you guys heard of the Homegrown Food Summit? It's going to be kicking off again on June 12th this year. There's going to be 38 speakers there, including Joel Salatin, Sally Fallon, Justin Rhodes. I mean, the list goes on and on. There's 38 speakers, and they're all going to be talking about how to grow your own homegrown food. They're going to be running the event 24 hours a day for seven days. And then after that, they shut it down. But if you click on the link below, it'll bring you there. It'll tell you all the information you need to know about the Homegrown Food Summit they're doing this year. And like I said, you get to watch it for free for seven days. Guys, go check it out. We watched it last year and we learned a lot. Boy, guys, that little thunderstorm and hailstorm we had last night was crazy. We were getting like dime-sized hail out of that. Ever since the microburst that we had, I'll link that video here. Olivia hasn't been too fond of thunderstorms, which they never bothered her before. So that's unfortunate. Hopefully she'll get over that fear pretty soon. We don't want her to be scared of thunderstorms her whole life. That's no fun. You guys ever done these before? I never have. We got a big package of different seeds for my brother, and this was in there. So I thought, why not give it a try? Those things are tiny, guys. Look at that. Look how tiny those things are. Wow. I've never grown this variety before. Frosty corn. Supposed to be a sweet corn variety. Pretty dehydrated. Quite a few kernels in there. Try some Dakota black popping corn. Some red acre cabbage. And some purple broccoli. I think they make these packages for lefties. Should have had Olivia do it. These ones must really be small. They don't give you that many. Or both. And I get a package inside of a package. You know that's not good. Where are all the seeds? That's just too funny. That cabbage has a boatload of seeds, and the broccoli just has a few. So, purple broccoli! Olivia's gonna love this purple garden. We don't have a raised bed put in place yet for an herb garden, but we're gonna start a whole bunch of herbs. So we're gonna have to build an herb garden. Hopefully it'll be nice out this weekend and we can put some more raised bed gardens in and we'll have a nice small one for all of our herbs we're gonna start today. We got some regular chives, Italian large leaf basil, purple basil, lemon balm, cilantro, sage, oregano, and holy basil. Common oregano, wow. This is almost like dust, guys. Look at that. Just gonna kinda <laughs> sprinkle them on top of our soil blocks. <laughs> it's like putting some pepper on top of some soil blocks. <laughs> Hopefully it takes. Normally we just buy all of our herbs started, but we had them in a package, so why not? Next year we'll let Olivia do it. Or maybe next year we won't need to do them. What 
you doing? <laughs> the pigs are doing awesome in here, but to help encourage them dig a little bit more, we're gonna pitchfork the ground, put some holes in it, and then put some grain in the holes, see if that'll help them dig a little bit better. They're still young, so they're not all that crazy yet, but soon enough they will be. We're gonna, and then we're gonna add some water and that'll help turn it into compost quicker too. I'm gonna show you what we're doing. It's packed down pretty good from the chicken, so what we're doing here, we're just gonna put the pitchfork in. Work it, guys. And then watch this. Pigs can already smell what's down there. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull that out. We're doing that guys, all the grains just falling down the pitchfork holes. And the pigs are gonna learn that's where their food is. Whoops, Pluto hit the poultry net. That'll teach her. She'll leave the chickens alone now, right? Look at him, guys. It's already working. How's your nose doing? You gonna leave that poultry net alone now? Yeah, I bet you will. <laughs> we're a little bit different here guys. We're trying to encourage our pigs to dig and we're trying to find ways to incentivize them and tr teach them to start digging. So this is working really good. We want to get this turned into compost as quick as we can. I mean they are still little guys but we want to teach them. We want you to dig. We want you to go to town. This is where your food is. We need to encourage that. So I hope you guys liked the video today. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it's really helping our channel grow. And we really appreciate it guys. We're growing really good right now and that's gotta be from you guys sharing the channel and sharing the videos and it really helps. If you're going to the Mother Earth News Fair, June 10th in Burlington, Vermont, leave it down in the comments below. We're gonna be going there. We'd love to meet up with you guys. And we'll see you right back here guys tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Thank <laughs> you.